policymakers are still stuck in a much more some is traditional view of what education is about, primarily just the transfer of knowledge into kids' brains. Uh, I think many haven't really woken up to just how important it is to switch from just cognitive knowledge content to capability, to imagine, to try things out, to solve problems, to deal with unforeseen situations. So partly they need to create space in curriculums and, uh, and so on. They need to provide support to schools and teachers who often want to be doing much more of this kind, but feel they're constrained by the regulations, the rules, the inspections and the metrics. And I think we need education ministers to talk about this as well. We need governments to make really strong, clear statements about its values. We need uh, head teachers uh, really to feel that within all the things that they're being asked to do, creativity is actually valued and that whatever external accountability systems or examination systems they work within, there's a place for it. It's a great challenge for the uh, educational system because, uh, frankly speaking, it's difficult just uh, to know for what life we're preparing them. Greatest innovations require a combination of art, science, creativity and all of that. So, uh, policymakers should also set up the infrastructure and the ecosystem. Uh, strategic leadership at every level is needed to make uh, uh, the kind of learning that we want a reality. Uh, and that means governmental leadership, ministerial leadership, but also leadership at school level uh, and leadership um, uh, right through schools at the level of the teacher as well, so that they are uh, leading collaborations across teachers uh, for the benefit of children and young people. I think we would want to promote the public value and have the public recognise the importance of critical thinking and creative uh, skills and also we need to be able to quantify and describe what they are in order to support teachers implement them in classrooms.